Hey everybody, it's Michaela and I'm back for another video. Today I'm going to be talking about in detail what it's like getting your period in basic training. So if this does not apply to you, now would be a perfect time to stop watching. So I get this question a lot in the comments throughout my different videos about basic and I can definitely see why. Um, that would bring up some questions and concerns because I was once in your shoes too. So I'm here to get into more detail with it. So when you go to basic and you're packing to leave, you are able to bring tampons, pads, panty liners with you in your bag and you're able to use them at basic training. So this is important because obviously if you're unfortunate to have your period, literally the week you leave, you might not you know, have an opportunity to go to the base store in basic and get what you need in time. So it's good to have some with you just in case. Um, also, if there's specific brands that you like, you never know if they won't have them or what they have. You know, it's not like shopping at Walmart. There's not an extensive amount of options. So definitely bring what you need um, and what works best for you. I have not heard any guidance as far as bringing a ring or a diva cup or anything like that. Honestly, I don't see why that would be an issue as long as you're keeping it clean and it's not taking up time from training. I really don't see that being a problem. Um, I would bring it and if they have something to say about it, they have something to say about it. The worst thing they'll do is tell you to put it back in your bag. So during training, to put it blunt, they do not care that you're on your period. So all the terrible things that come with it, you know, cramping, being very tired, being moody and very lethargic and you know, all the different <laughs> symptoms that being on your period brings, they don't care. So that's just to put it straight, you know, when you're in school, sometimes you can use the, oh, I'm on my period. So you wouldn't have to, you know, do, you know, PE or something like that. No, you still have to work out However, however, if you are someone that gets really bad periods, like really bad cramps and you're in a lot of pain, you are able to go to sick call every day in basic if you need to. So what this means is instead of going to PT, you're going to go to sick call instead. So you and a wingman would walk to the clinic and you would tell them what's wrong and they would give you what you need. And they'd probably just give you Advil or Tylenol. With that, even though it is over the counter, it's going to come in a prescription bottle and you cannot share this with anyone else or you can get in lots of trouble. Unfortunately, you are not able to bring any over the counter medication for cramps or anything. You can't bring multivitamin, you can't bring supplements, you can't bring Advil, you can't bring Tylenol in your personal bag. So in order to get that medication, you're going to have to go to sick call every day. Um, and when you do go on base, when you're in basic, you know, to buy things like shampoo and conditioner at the little shop, there obviously is medicine there available for purchase. But since you are in basic training, you are not able to buy this. And while they might not find out, it's really not worth taking that chance because you do have drawer inspections, locker inspections, inspections of just everything. So the last thing you want is to get in trouble for purchasing something that you shouldn't have and that you can easily go get from the clinic. On that, moving into showers. This was something that I was concerned about and I'm telling you, no one cares. If you're in the shower, and you know, there's a little blood because you're on your period, it's fine. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. You're literally all in an open room of showers, naked. No one, everyone's probably uncomfortable to an extent, you know, and if you bleed, no one's looking anyway. So you're literally fine. And if that is a big concern for you, you can just, you know, keep wearing a tampon. Also, you are able to go to the bathroom whenever you need to. So you just take a wingman if you're sitting in class, you don't have to raise your hand. You literally just bring a wingman and then go to the bathroom and then come back. Um, same thing with PT. If you're running in the morning and you know you have to go to the bathroom, you grab a wingman and you go and come back. You don't have to ask anyone. The only time that it's a problem and you might not be able to go whenever you need to is when you're marching, but you are given an opportunity every time before you march to use the bathroom or latrine as you can only say in basic. You can only say latrine, you can't say bathroom, you can't say restroom, it is only the latrine. 
But every other time besides marching, you do not have to ask. You don't raise your hand. It's not elementary school. Everyone's an adult. You are able to carry tampons and pads in your uniform throughout the day. So you can put them in your PT pants or PT shorts in the morning in case you need to fall out and go to the bathroom. You can keep them in your pocket, you know, in the camouflage uniform in case you need to fall out and go then. Um, you do have your backpack most of the time, but there are instances like when you're running, you're not gonna be able to go back and get stuff out of your bag. So it's good to just carry them on you. To end this, I just wanna say that you will be fine. Thousands of women have gone through basic and gotten their period and it's all been good. So it's still uncomfortable, it sucks, it's not fun for anyone, but I promise you will be okay. I hope this helped.